everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider Remastered playthrough. Today we're going to be playing through St. Francis Folly and I am actually kind of dreading it to be honest because for anyone new I have thalassophobia I believe it's called. I have a fear of large bodies of water, open water and all things that live in water basically so I am not looking forward to seeing this remastered crocodile. <laughs> I have also switched to my PlayStation controller because I noticed that my Xbox one was just really, really loud. Like you could really, really hear it clicking as I was playing. So I switched to this one. I think it's a bit quieter and hopefully that'll be a bit better and hopefully it'll work okay as well, but we'll see. Anyway, let's just start into it. Oh, the load screen is beautiful. Okay, oh, look at the lines. I'm gonna jump up here. Haha, <laughs> can't get me. Oh, you look scary. Did I get the lioness? No, I didn't. Now I did. Oh god, they look they look demonic, honestly. They look kind of possessed or something. <laughs> A little bit scary, but anyway. So. Just. Okay, yeah. I think all of the- Ooh, look at the hole in the ceiling. I think all of the controls are pretty much the same. Yeah, as the other one. Actually, do you know, I think this controller is much easier to play this game with. So I think this was a good decision anyway. Whoops. Oh yeah, and also people asked me if I could, oh, okay, that's how we switch in. Um, people asked me if I could turn off the like icon thing. So let me see if I can do that. Okay, turn off the action indicators. There, that should be it, I think. Yeah, cool, okay. Ooh. Whoops, what am I doing? Sorry. It'll take me a while to get back into this now. Come on out here, I'm not going in there. No, I'm not going in there. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Hmm. The monkeys actually haven't changed much. I mean, obviously they look more detailed and more like, well, gorillas. But they haven't changed that much. <laughs> it's funny when you shoot them outside and then you come in with the ambush music and there's just nothing. <laughs> right. So I think I'll do this first to open the switch to leave. Ooh, look how cool the details on the wall look and everything. <gasps> The difference. And this music is just so gorgeous as well. Okay, I know you're out here, Pierre, but I want to see ya. Okay, okay, I see what people were saying. <laughs> I see what people were saying. Oh, he's still there. Oh, I don't really mind. <laughs> you just don't want to leave? Come on, get out of here. Is he gone? I think he's gone now. Um, <laughs> so 
sorry. Um, yeah, I, I see what people were saying now. Because I had said at the end of the last level, like, oh, did they make Larson hotter <laughs> in this game? And a couple of people said to me, wait till you see Pierre. He's he's looking well. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Let's continue and, um, you know, keep it clean here. Keep it clean. Okay, I think I need to push this. <laughs> need to push this a bit further. Never in my life would I have thought it, but there you go. They they did their job well with this remaster. <laughs> okay, okay, let's all calm down and talk about Pierre a little bit. So Pierre Dupont was born on January 17th, 1951. He was born in, I never pronounced this correctly. It's spelt Nantes, France, but I know it's not pronounced Nantes. I do apologize if you're French. I really do. And honestly, that's that's all the information on Pierre. We don't have as much information as we do with Larson. All we know is that at some point, Pierre and Larson met each other doing that gun for hire work in the South American country, Nicaragua. Again, can never say that either, apologies. But yeah, they met there, started working together, and then at some point they were hired by Jacqueline Natla to help her find and assemble the pieces of the ski on. Okay, now that we're calm, let's go. <laughs> let's go get a secret. This looks really, really nice in here. Although I think, again, I don't know if it was possible. It probably wasn't possible. I think it would have been cool if they could have made like these pillars on the wall 3D or something because they're still kind of just flat like they were. But I know it probably wasn't possible when you're just kind of overlaying graphics. I am um, I think I'm too picky. <laughs> I'm too picky. Oh, didn't get it. This secret is so tricky. Usually takes me a few attempts. Oh. Oh. Facing the wrong way, hit me head. Oh, I feel like she should have grabbed that. Oh no, oh. Her head. Well, she's definitely got a concussion now anyway. Come on! She should have grabbed that. Hmm. What if I... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, maybe I was doing it facing the wrong way. That was it! I was facing the wrong flipping way. Flip sake. Okay. Awesome. Gotcha. This and we do not want to fall down there. Oh, sugar. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> I don't care though. I'm not, I'm not doing that again. So I'll take the damage. I'll take the damage. In fact, I'm going to save it. I am dreading this crocodile. I am absolutely dreading it. Oh, jeez. Well, do you know, I might die before I even get to the crocodile. Right, and is that just a, a jump forward as well? Don't know why, these pillars look kind of higher than they originally did for some reason. Like, it looks like she's not gonna make it. That's odd, isn't it? Maybe it's just an illusion. An illusion of better graphics. Uh, 
right. Whoops. Great. Um. Didn't I open this? Is it timed? Is it timed? Or did I not open it? <laughs> I don't remember. Have I got a glitch? Or am I just being really stupid? Is it because I moved the block? Or, hang on, I didn't put the block on... Oh, I didn't put the block on this. I think that's what it is. Hang on a second now. There we go. Work brain. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Right. Now it's open. Uh, careful. Okay, saving it. Not only because of the crocodile and things might go wrong, but also we've only got one chance to get this secret. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so nervous. Like my hands are literally sweating. Absolutely sweating right now. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. Just stay calm. Freaking out is only gonna make you mess it up. <sighs> stay calm. Okay, so the trick to getting into this secret is... <gasps> oh my god, I just saw its tail. Flip off. I don't want to see you. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Right, so you stand up on the slope. Let her fall down naturally and then as soon as her feet hit the slope you press the jump button and you should land in the secret okay let's do it let's do it let's do it oh my god oh my god oh my god <gasps> oh! oh thank god right saving it I'm saving it Okay, holding the walk button, holding the walk button. Where are you? What do you look like? Oh, oh God. Oh my God. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. This, oh, this is awful. This is actually awful. I hate it. Oh, uh, I want to go back to the old graphics. <laughs> I might have to, I might have to switch back to the old graphics for the underwater bits. Oh, and we have to go in to get another secret. Like we can't drain it. Oh my God. Oh! They made blood. Tomb Raider 1 never had that before. They made blood. That's really cool. It's not going to come back, is it? It's not going to come back. Okay, let's just... We just... We just have to do it. We just have to do it. We just... Are you there? No, you see, it's flipping. It's gone now. Okay, just do it. Just do it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. No, no, no. Why did they? No. Oh, oh, oh my god, they made it look so real. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What is going on here? What is going on here? Where did I? Oh, where did I miss the secret? Oh my god, oh my god, get me out, get me out, get me out. <gasps> they covered it. Why the hell did they cover the hole in the new graphics? That wasn't covered, 
last time. Was it? No, that was just an open hole. That's why I missed it. That was so sneaky. That was so mean. <laughs> oh, they made the crocodile look so real. And now I don't even know. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Hang on, just let me. <gasps> which way? Which way did I come from? I don't even know. I don't even- oh god. Look, just go. Just go! Just go! Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, oh my god. Go, Lara, go! Drain it. Drain it, drain it, drain it. Right, that's it. I'm coming, I'm coming in there now. You give me a second. You're in for it now. You're absolutely in for it. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you when there's no water. Not afraid of you now, arsehole. Absolute real looking arsehole. <sighs> right, that was, that was worse than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, for f I didn't save. You actual arsehole. Get away from me. Get away! I am so livid. I, I can't even speak about it right now. It's too traumatizing right we're saving it we're saving it right now <sighs> well that was probably the worst thing that could have possibly happened and you know what it's happened now i've seen the crocodile the initial shock is over right let's let's check this out Wow, that's really cool. That is so cool. The difference is amazing. Love it. Right. Hello? Right, and I remember there's just constant bats. Constant squeaky bats in this level. <laughs> they sound like little rubber ducks just going ee 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 ee. <laughs> I don't know why I made that sound. That's not even what a rubber duck sounds like. Anyway, <sighs> I'm delirious. Delirious from the trauma. Right, so the way that I usually do this tower, which is, I think, kind of the quickest way, not when I'm doing it because I'm quite a slow player, but it's the quickest way that requires the least backtracking. So I usually get the secret first and then I climb back up the tower and pull all the switches to open all the rooms. And then I make my way back down through the tower one last time getting the key from each room and that seems to that seems to work okay so I'm gonna do that so let me save this now before I try and get this secret because this is a tricky one as well and I've got full life okay that's that's fine right so pressure pad opens the secret room all the way down the bottom of the tower let's go Oh. Right. Oof. Done. Awesome. So yeah, if you have full life, you can just do it all in one. 
pretty much, which is quite handy. You can just keep running. Keep running. But that is a really tricky, sneaky secret. I thought there was lines down here. Maybe they only maybe they only come later. Um Okie doke. So where's this there's a switch switch down here. Atlas. Oh yeah, I have some li little bits little bits of information on the four rooms just like I read out in my original Tomb Raider 1 playthrough so I will read those out as well for anyone who's interested. Um, I kind of got the feeling from reading the comments that most of you really really like the extra shut up the extra info um, and I I really like it as well. I really enjoy doing it and finding out all of this stuff because I never knew any of this before so yeah I find it really really interesting as well to do it so if you guys enjoy it that's even better because yeah if you've watched my other Tomb Raider playthroughs you'll know that I love <laughs> I love doing it um Especially when I was playing Angel of Darkness, I like really got into the research for for that game. Really enjoyed that. Uh, I missed missed the medipack. Right, so just gonna try my best to concentrate because I'm not so good at the owl jumping sometimes. Did I press that? No, I didn't. I missed that one. I missed that because I was talking. <coughs> Great. Neptune is there. And then I think we just have one more. One more switch. And the last time I played through this on my channel, I missed four bats and I was really annoyed. So I'm going to try my best now to get all the bats as well. Because <laughs> I really hate the bats. It's, it's personal. <laughs> For me, it's personal. There we go trigger some of the bats. Hello? Okay, yeah, that was those two. This controller is so much better than the other one. It doesn't have that really loud clicking. Oh, that sounded really sad, actually. That sounded like the bat was slowly screaming as it was falling. Sorry, I don't know why I like put that image into people's heads. I do apologize. And I've got no excuse today. I didn't get up at five today. <laughs> right, so that's, oh. That's all the switches. Hello? Oh, do you know what? I'm not arsed waiting for you. Be here all day. Be here all day. I'm just gonna carry on with my life and when you feel like it come here there gosh she's so pretty she is just so dang pretty I think I got those ones 
So then what bats are left? Oh, here. Hello? God, this is so annoying. Right, I'm not waiting. I don't have... I don't have time for this. Oh! I thought I shot you! Don't have time for this today. I want to see as much of the game as I can. Thank you very much. Right. Oh, God. I mean, it... Oh, it looks... It looks great, but it looks really scary. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, okay, so Neptune is the Roman god of the sea. And so this, this challenge is water, of course. But I have no idea, and most Tomb Raider fans have no idea, why this is... Neptune, the Roman god of the sea, and not Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea, seen as we're in Greece. But anyway, look, we won't nitpick. Right, just do it. Just do it, just do it, just do it. We won't nitpick uh, on how the game was originally made. It was amazing so handy that she can turn underwater now so so handy right and there was an achievement didn't it say come out of the water in neptune's room on your last breath should we try and get that should we like wait just wait and then surface with our last breath Oh, look at those bubbles. I don't know why I'm voluntarily staying longer in the water, but I kind of want this achievement. Okay, go. Yes, I got it. <laughs> awesome. Sense of achievement. Okay. I am just thinking about how hard the rest of this game is going to be with those crocodiles looking like that. Right, so this is Atlas. Hello? the noise they make when they die they sounds like they just go ow <laughs> so do 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 let's get this first so yes atlas sorry atlas was a titan who was condemned to hold up the celestial heavens i.e the sky uh, for all eternity and that's why he when he's usually depicted Atlas is the guy who's always holding like the massive globe of the world kind of on his back so yeah of course they have a massive boulder that's gonna crush us because that's Tomb Raider and we love it okay and I know it's an achievement I think to run and jump up there before the boulder gets you but I know that's gonna kill me Oh, no. I was close though. Wasn't I? Right, let's try it again. Maybe you have to run and jump twice. Oh sugar. No. I'm not I'm not skilled enough. I'm not skilled enough to do that. I'll have to do it my usual way. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, the boulder came after me much faster than I thought it would. But yeah, that's how I usually do it. I can never go up here in time. 
Is it even possible to get up here in time? I think it is. But it's difficult. Oh, would you look at the little keys? They're so cute. Oh, that was high. That was high, but I'm fine. Right. So, on to Damocles. Uh, Damocles is really, really cool. Oh no, sorry, Thor is next. My bad. My bad. Look at poor Thor. Was almost forgetting him. Can I jump there? Oh, would you look at those? Now the lines are there. Right. And of course, well, we know this now just after playing Underworld, but also I think Thor is probably one of the most famous gods, but he is the Norse god of thunder. Um, so that's why we've got this. Oh, I can't wait to see this in new graphics. Oh, that's cool. It actually looks like electricity. Look at the difference. That is awesome. Okay. So I need to avoid this. Woo! All right. And then we've got here, because you know, Thor has a hammer, Mjolnir. Oh yes, I learned the name. For anyone who doesn't know, my fiancé is Norwegian, so he has been teaching me when playing through Underworld how to say all these words. So yeah, this is meant to be Mjolnir, I guess. So let's do it. Oh, hang on. Isn't it an achievement to let the hammer crush you as well? Let me save it, and I'll let it crush me. And, oh sorry, that's load. And yeah, we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. Oh, squish. Did I get the achievement? Wasn't that, wasn't that an achievement? I could have sworn that was an achievement. Huh. Okay. Bit disappointed. <laughs> Thought that was an achievement. Oh well. Oh well. Can't have everything in life. Right. So we have this here. And then we just push this one down. Super slow block pushing. <laughs> okay, run, jump, and grab. I don't know why, but with the new graphics, I always feel like she's gonna miss. I always feel like she's gonna miss the grab for some reason. Um, right, I think we go back this way so we don't die. Right, she looks like she's gonna miss. Is that just me? I don't know. Anyway. Oh! Jesus. Right, and you are really lucky. Don't let the thunder hit you in Thor's room. Oh. Awesome. Maybe the achievement was don't let the hammer hit you as well. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I messed that up. 
Oh well, doesn't matter. Oh, Pierre's back. Do you know, he's not quite so annoying in this version of the game. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> right, let's let, let's go into Damocles. <laughs> right, and I have a little bit of info on Damocles. So, this is the one where we have the swords dangling over our head. And I had always heard the phrase, you know, the sword of Damocles is hanging over me or something like that but I had never understood like where it came from or what it meant or anything like that. In short, Damocles is not a god. He was actually a courtier in 4th century BC in Sicily, Italy. So one day Damocles was pandering to his king and saying things like, it would be so great to be king and be all powerful and, you know, like have everything you want and blah, blah, blah. So the king actually offered him a trade to trade places for the day. And Damocles was really excited by this. And he was like, of course. So he spent the day sitting on the throne, you know, feasting, drinking wine, having a great time. But the king had also placed a sword above the throne that was hanging with the hair of a horse's tail. This, of course, was a perilous situation to be in at any moment. The horse tail hair could break and the sword could come flying down on Damocles. And throughout the day, he eventually just got so stressed and anxious worrying about the sword above his head all the time that could like fall at any minute that he asked the king to switch back. He was like, I can't take this, this stress um, and this pressure. And the king said to him that that was what he was trying to demonstrate to Damocles is that it may seem great to be in these, you know, powerful positions or these important positions, but when you're in them, you can sometimes essentially have this sword hanging over your head. You know, there's so much pressure. There can be sometimes danger. There's downsides to it as well. It's not all great. And yeah, that's really interesting. Um, I really loved learning the story of Damocles because I hadn't <clears throat> hadn't known it before. So as soon as we take this, of course, the way out gets a lot harder. And I'll take these pickups and then I'm gonna save it before I try and make my way out because I usually get sliced. <laughs> oh God. Well, that nearly chopped my flipping legs off, didn't it? <gasps> that is a difference. <gasps> it's easier with the old graphics. I can't see the shadows. You can't see the shadows. With the, with the new graphics, you can't see it. Oh, this is easier with the old graphics. You're blocking me way. Get out. So now I'm stuck. <gasps> right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you can't see. You can't see where the where the swords are or where they're going to fall. Oh 
Right, there's one one up there. Whoa! I'm so scared. <laughs> Is that it? Can I go? Go, 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 go! <sighs> Let only one sword hurt you. Oh, okay. Got an achievement. Go me. Right. Um, so yeah, that is, that is way easier with the, oh, for flip's sake. Shut up, Pierre, I'm dead. Right. That was stupid. Ah! Hopefully that was enough to get rid of them. Turn! Oh, do you know, I don't have the patience. There we go. Right. And now we get to open the big door. Oh, she's so beautiful. I'm still not used to it. I'm still, like, not used to going from that <laughs> to that. She's so pretty. Oops. Did I get all the secrets? I think so. I'm sure we'll find out, won't we? I did, yay, okay. So that actually took me a while. That took 53 minutes. I got four out of four secrets, 19 of 19 pickups, and 23 kills. Don't remember if that's them all or not, but I did try my best to get all those bats. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I do want to apologize to my amazing members. The first day I was recording this game, I was just so excited and caught up in everything and so focused on like getting the videos filmed and getting them edited and getting them posted and stuff that I completely forgot to put thank yous at the end of my first three videos. So in this video, I would like to extra thank my amazing channel members who support me and this channel. They are Zanir, Rianne, Adam Green, Michael, Malou, Dealey Boy, Jared, John, Alchemist Days, Alessandro Campos, Mrs. Veronica Cat, and Axe Mania. And I would also really like to welcome the new members we've had join since the remasters started. So a huge welcome to Miss Blood Rain 6000, David Partington, Shadow Wesker, David Morrison, JJ Dreamer 8, Jade Silcock and Jason Hellman. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. It means the absolute world to me and means that I can dedicate more time to making content for the channel. So I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.